I think we're spending way too much time in the ugly kitchen. I know, but sometimes, you know what, it's just easier than moving everything out to the other area. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah. All right, we're making a simple meatball recipe today. And I'm a big fan of cooking with whatever you have. So, I only have this much butter left. <laughs> Which is unusual for me, because if you ever looked in my fridge, I often have at least three pounds, always, Confirmed, in the people. So, and it's not even unsalted. Normally I would use unsalted butter, but whatever, here we go. A tablespoon of butter. Half an onion. Chop. And my pan is probably too hot, which is why it's brown. But that's fine. That's just extra flavor without being burnt. So we're going to cook that for a few minutes. Because I like my onions fully cooked in my meatballs. I don't like them lightly raw still. And because I'm baking them in the oven, it doesn't take too much time, so it doesn't give the onions enough time to really cook. I'm adding a pinch of salt, and we're just going to let that sit for a few minutes. In the meantime, I have about half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, and you can use regular Italian breadcrumbs, you can use plain breadcrumbs, you can use two pieces of bread, whatever you like. I have a quarter cup of milk and I'm going to pour that into my breadcrumbs. And I'm going to just stir that around and let the milk soak into the breadcrumbs. And we're waiting for the onions and we're going to add that. Right, that's good enough for me. Turning my oven off, I'm going to add the sautéed onions to my breadcrumb mixture. I'll let that cool down just a little bit so that... I'm going to mix it by hand so I don't want to burn myself. Mix. Which can happen, you know it. Wait, did you say you don't want to mix by hand? No, I said I don't. I'm going to be mixing by hand and I don't want to burn myself on the onions. Did I not say that? Yeah. Which can happen because I'm prone oh. to do stuff like that. Right? Uh, yeah, very true. All right, I have a, about a pound of extra lean ground beef. And I'm going to use about half a pound of ground pork and you can use whatever you like ground turkey ground chicken sausage meat lean ground beef regular beef veal but all together i have a pound and a half of meat in here i forgot to grab my eggs i'll be right back adding about a teaspoon of worcester an egg Maybe about a teaspoon of salt. Pepper. Right. Mixing by hand, it's easier to not overmix when you're mixing by hand. So then your meatballs come out moist and tender. And you're going to roll them up anyway, so your hands are going to get dirty regardless. Alright. And you're going to make them into... I don't know what size to call this. What's well, bigger than a golf ball. <laughs> bigger than a golf ball. Just slightly bigger than a golf ball. 
The smaller you make them, the, fa the faster they'll cook, but then that means you have to make more of them. And if you make them bigger, that's fine too. You just have to cook them longer. As you all know, I can't be bothered with pan frying each one of them, so I'm just going to put them all in the oven and they'll be cooked evenly. And I'm okay with that. So normally I would serve these IKEA style with a beef gravy and some potatoes on the side, but tonight we're not doing that. I'm not, I don't have time. So we're having ratatouille and rice. And the recipe to the ratatouille will be up on the screen if you want to check that out. Give me right there. <laughs> Did you get your finger? Yeah, my blurry, blobby <laughs> finger, yeah. So how many did we make for 20, 22? There's 22 meatballs here. And I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm not even going to bother putting oil on them because I know there's enough fat from the ground pork. And yeah, we're going to put it in at a 375 oven for about 20 minutes. That's it. Super easy. Ta-da! Alright, it's been about 20 minutes. I cut one open a couple of minutes ago just to make sure that they were cooked through and I left them in a little bit longer just to brown it a little bit more. You like your meatballs to be more colored. And that's it. Meatballs, ratatouille, rice. I'll put some on a plate to show you. All right, you can't make everything in the instant pot, but I did have ratatouille going in one pot. I have rice going in another pot. And of course I don't have a rice scoop. I'm just gonna use this. And grab one of these. And a couple of meatballs. And there's dinner. Pretty easy tonight. <laughs> if you like this video, please click like and please subscribe to my channel. Join my Facebook page. Uh, find me on Instagram. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm just watching your camera move up. I'm like, can you go any slower? <laughs>